people want to know, did USU 223 live up to the hype? And from what i seen since what Friday was, I mean, if you look at the card that was set in stone, it was supposed to be for the USC lightweight title, Khalib against Tony Perks, Michael Chiesa, Anthony Lopez, Ray Park, Brad Marino. <laughs> but due to uh, what uh, Karma Breaker's little bus uh, incident, some of those fights, uh, some of those fires were pulled off the cart. If you didn't know or been living under the rock, it was Friday during the UC 223 uh, Media Day. Well, let's kind of back up story a little bit. Conqueror is teaming Arnold Lobal and Khalif has some kind of beef. Conqueror hears about it. He loads up a plane from Ireland with his terror 12 guys. The plane lands in New York. He gets down to the, to the loading dock where all the fires on the car were getting on the buses hanging back to the hotel. Conor McGregor, he grabs a dolly, throws it at the bus, breaks the breaks the glass, Michael Kiesa gets busted out, gets cuts and all that. The glass hits Ray Borg in the eyes. <laughs> Rosa Nunes, who's the current champion at the time, she's all shooken up. Our robots will face out concerns. That bell got scrapped due to his Arnold's ball with Conor McGregor. <coughs> Michael Chiesa was uh, his former former champion at the Battle of Bull and loved to do multiple cuts from a broken window. Ray Borg and Brown was supposed to take place in this week's uh, the seven weeks earlier. Kelly was helping to the Myers Saint by Marino, the parent was delayed or scheduled about a little scrap of work grad issues to make glass shards of the side. Conor McGregor was also was then arrested. <sighs> and it was held in custody as charges were filed over the arrest of the laws like SBT and Clint Cloud was charged with three counts of assault and one count of criminal mischief and released release of bail thousand twenty five thousand respectively. So if you look at the card that was that was held Okay, yeah, so the Khalid is Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson was the inner champion at the time. He got injured in steps in Max Holloway. He couldn't he could fight because he was unfit. There were rumors and rumblings that Anthony Pettis was was gonna be bumped up to face Khalid for the title. That didn't happen. Not then steps in New York's own ally Quinta, who made weight, challenged Khalid for the title. So if you look at the card that was held prior and now, I mean, it did live up to the hype, but the whole Conor McGregor incident, I mean, this is kind of like Conor's second strike in my mind. But if I was Conor, why would I act like such an idiot during fight day? Just because your teammate had beef with Khalid? <sighs> Definitely, my mind, it did live up to the fights on, on the prelim were really good. There wasn't a fight on the prelim that that was kind of like, ah, all of them on the prelim card lived up to the pay-per-view portion. 